Alright, what up, what up, what up, we're back and in this one I have my sidekicks to me, I'm going to be using some assistance. I got my uh, gardener over here and I have my uh, farmer over here. So what this one is, if you read the title, it's basically how I do my kibble farm and uh, that's how that's going to be. So I built this area here as something to act for my kibble farm for when I need to make kibble. And yeah, I made it down by my starter base. I made it normally by my starter base because to me this is one of the most important things that you can have if you're going to be taming and going on to the next level of boss fights and cave runs. And this is what I do before I'm ready to go on cave runs on most servers. Some servers you might have to work your way to a kibble farm, but on, on my ones it's pretty easy to get to a kibble farm. It's just going to take some knockout, especially on the island. Most every dino is a knockout. If you remember, we have our... Uh, regular farm from the earlier on in the series. I still use it. If you think I've abandoned it, thought wrong. You see, so still use everything in there. It's a must. And uh, what I'm gonna do is take you on into uh, Bee's farm. It should say Bee's Kibble Farm, but the sign is what the sign is. So yeah, this is Bee's farm in here. I have my Soul Catcher. It keeps all my dinos. If you've watched uh, one haters video, it explained the Soul Catcher and how important it is to tame it. It's pretty much what I would call a taming buddy. It can uh, incubate eggs, it can uh, hold eggs, and what I do is all my dinos that I um, get for kibble, I put in here and it gets me the eggs that I need and it collects them as they generate it. And this, in this tutorial, you can use pretty much any dino. There's a slew of dinos if you go to Dodex that will tell you what dinos are good for, what, for uh, which kibble recipe. I have my, um, my turtle here for his eggs. I have my UDs here because the UDs are very important. Their eggs are probably make the best kibble in the game and you're definitely going to want that kibble if you plan on fighting the boss fight and using the UDs for their courage or if you want a Thyla or if you server or if you're on rag and it has um, griffins this is definitely good for it. Then you have the Argentavis their eggs are good. I like knocking out the Argentavis at a low level because they're easy knockouts, they're slow, they can't really keep up with whatever flyer or rider I'm using. Uh, the Brontosaurus, because it's such a big target, easy to hit, easy knockout. You can feed it berries, leave it alone, and go probably tame up the rest of these guys. Um, the Dillos, for, the, for some reason, I went with the Dillos. I went with them because they're an easier knockout. They're not so hard. They're all over the, the map. They're like the uh, pigeons of Ark, or I'd say the rodents of Ark. They're just all over the place. You can find them in any biome, almost any zone. I rarely, very rarely see them up in the winter biome, but that's still to be without said. And last but not least, the raptors. And I just went with the raptors because, once again, they're littered around the beach. They're usually, what I would say, the type of dinosaurs that will lay eggs for you as fast as can be. But I'm pretty sure you all have your own little know-hows or noticing of what dino says what. As well, what this does is it collects, uh, it collects feces. Now, I didn't bring my dung beetle. I only tamed up one. So I didn't actually go into a cave and tame up one for this video. But... I'm definitely gonna bring him down but what he does is as he's in here he passively generates turns this here into fertilizer and oil which is important for the next thing that I would show you which is a generator <laughs> the generator I find is important because it runs things like the refrigerator and the refrigerator will have a lot of the things that you need in it that's gonna have your kibble and it can store your kibble the honey goes very very fast so you definitely gonna want to make sure that you have a refrigerator compost and bins I mean uh, preserving bins not composting but preserving bins work but not as well as I would say these here do the uh, fridges everyone knows that you have a cooking pot the cooking pot also this is where you would make your kibble if you're not at the later stages of the game where you would have the industrial cooker so uh, this this is what it would do I have an S plus one normally it wouldn't show you recipes on how to make all these like I said Dodex will give you every recipe you need but essentially what it will do is it'll let you make all of the kibbles all of the soups all of the healing potions every recipe that Eric has it gives you pretty much a pre-made even the veggie cakes there and this is uh, the cook the, the cooking pot um, I'm not going to be using the cooking pot, but I can definitely go through it or I can definitely cook up a recipe and show you. You just have to add the same ingredients that it has there to make up, make it up for you. Um, then we have here 
what I would call my uh, preserving bins. In your preserving bins, you need them, and like I said, that oil is important. You need the preserving bins for that, and it's gonna make it's gonna make us the um, the jerky. Definitely, definitely. De oh, she's passed out drunk on the job. I might have to deactivate you. You can't be drunk on the job. So, pass those on the job. So I didn't actually cook my prime meat. I want to do that here. So I normally have my prime meat in there because it's another thing that goes very fast. And what you would do is you would just cook the prime meat. As it cooks up, you would put it inside this other preserving bin. And like I said, the, um, the uh, beetle, the dung beetle would be making you oil. And, my, and here in this case I have a bassy generate me oil as you can see his tag down there he also passively generates oil so I get it in there and what I would do is I take the oil and it's the same oil it still works and where I'm at on this beach I could literally go in the water and get oil is one of the easiest places to get oil from in the water and there which is gonna bring me once again to my next my next uh, mod I want to show you this is just a water it helps drink helps you take a drink without needing intake pipes you can put your water jars in there that also helps uh, just give me a second we'll bring it back I'm just gonna go grab my stuff alright so we're back so like I was saying this is uh, what, what we're pretty much now put an intake pipe it'll run water for you I usually use it for to get a gulp of water on my travels and it brings me to this thing which is my cooking pot this is what I use for kibble on P on uh, PC on PS5 you wouldn't have all of these so really what you'd want to do is have your water hooked up you'd want water jars not water skins because they evaporate water water jars will last forever with the water in it or the canteen um, but as I was it gives you once again the recipes and what's interesting about this is that when you put the recipes in there the water doesn't evaporate so you can continuously keep one water jar in there and it will make all the recipes that you need from this thing here and that's what that is and this is the like I said my second tool to to taming up anything that I want on the map and this guy definitely would help you tame everything now this beehive normally you wouldn't be able to just openly go in it you would need a ghillie suit and stimulant just to go in and get the honey but a beehive is another thing that is necessary very essential I have a, a video of me taming the bee I'm pretty sure you can find videos of people taming bees on uh, YouTube but what it will do is it will give you honey and it will generate honey over a course of a time which is another huge part in kibble that you're going to want if you're going to be making the kibble for like I said the special dinos is what I call them, which is why they have a different kibble. Now this is an S plus. Oh, excuse me, there I didn't mean to do that. Well, I did, but saw it myself. Uh, this is the S plus um, garden pot, plot, uh, crop plot. It pretty much holds. It, it yields uh, berries and all the different berries that you would need for the kibble. And if you're making kibble, you definitely need berries. Um, bear barrel is not very much a piece of a taming tool I mean I use it for one thing and one thing only but a lot of people that would want to tame a calicotherium probably would want to use this and would have to make some making paste to make more water jars but all it is is you put any berries and that's in there make sure it's it's irrigated to a water pipe on top of the water pipe not in the middle of the water pipe and it'll just make beer for you you take an empty water jar throw that in there and get you a glass of beer what I use it for is like I said I have two assistants and one of them is passing on the job unpowered so we're gonna have to power her up and see if we can get her I don't know she activated well she will just leave her there and we'll leave the beer in her if she decides to get up she can drink it beer on the house but as if you read here it says give the gardener beer and she will collect all your crops for you so I give her beer and she'll pick up all the crops that I'm growing and all the crops that I'm growing are all the crops that you will need in most kibbles the only crop that you can't grow that you're going to need in most kibbles 
The only crop that you can, that you can grow, you're gonna need in most kibbles is the rare flowers and the rare mushrooms, which I always tell people either go to the swamp with a mammoth or go to the swamp with a theory. Or just raid some beaver dams and smack some crystal and you should be able to get it out of both of those. My next assistant is this guy, the gardener. Or the primer, primer sorry about that. And what he requires is kaolin soup and all he really does is take the fertilizer out of my compost simmons and put it in my crop plots as needed. So that's all of my assistants. Those are all the things that I use to make the kibble, to have a kibble farm. You know, and pretty much setting up all of this stuff is gonna allow you to make any kibble that you want in the game, whether it is uh, whether it is exceptional kibble, you should be able to make it, or whether it is extraordinary kibble, you should be able to make it from anyone to anyone, and as far as veggie cakes, you should be able to make it. If you go over the recipes, you'll see that I have all of those things, including the sap, which I actually have a tree tap full of sap that I barely ever attend to. If you give me a second here, we can uh, go ahead and teleport. If you follow me to there, we'll go collect some. We'll bring some back just to make sure that this base has everything. And that's like I said, I made this base in a sense of any time I want to make sure to retain something. I have everything that I need. It's just a nice little base that I can put together to know that this is my taming area. I mean, my uh, my kibble slash taming area. Um, I also have one in my actual base up in the north. I'll go up there and show you some examples of all the things you can do with it there. Now that we have our sap, we'll take that back to our kibble station, and we'll realize and we'll see how we have everything. And like I said, if there's something out there you want to tame. The reason why you would use kibble is because it gives you max levels, max XP, you know, it just max out the dino as best as it can be, rather than you losing a lot of levels due to not having kibble or just not having efficient kibble station, really. Um, can I put this in? No. I need to store this somewhere. So, oh, my bear barrel storage. Alright, so we need food. And this thing needs, oh, we have our oil, so it's already making kibble. Alright, like I said, it's just this, just this here helps me keep all the eggs. Everything that you see is very, very important. Um, since this is S+, plus, I can pick this up and take it up to the other base. We're going to go up to my winter bit now. We'll leave that there. We can make one, of course, comes worse. But we're going to go up to the other base, and we're going to see, you know, just a quick little setup that I have up there for the kibble station. And that's, like I said, that's pretty much it. Make sure that at most times, if you're not using gardeners or any assistance, you have a beer barrel, you have a beehive, you have a stove, a cooker. Make sure you have yourself some preserving bins with jerky on the go from the second you start to the second you end. I mean, a preserving bin, if you're not at the level to have a fridge, like I said, if you're not, if you're not there, you're going to need something to store all your stuff, so it definitely can go there. And like I said, that will allow you to have have everything you need to tame up everything you need um, like as well you don't need all the dinos that I have just you just need dinos and when I comes to me taming my dinos and whatever dinos I'm going to use for kibble if you can see here most of these guys are very low level the max level is 115 I try to get them as low as I can knock them out they're here literally to produce eggs nothing else they're not going to war they're not going to battle and if they do if they do, we replace them. But uh, that's all I have for you on at the kibble station. We're going to go to my main base. We're going to make a few different pieces of kibble to show you how, when you have all those things, it allows you to make any kibble you need to tame any dino you need as efficiently, as fast, and get the most out of it for what it's worth. You don't want to tame a max level on anything less than prime meat. I know some people like to use mutton. Personally, the kibble is there for a reason. And the game does have, like I said, it does have a food system where, let me see if I can just spyglass something. Like this guy, for example. If you were to, if, if you were to feed him 10 stem berries, it would take longer. And measured berries would take faster. Base veggies would take faster. And rare flowers is the best. One rare flower would get him up. Um, this turtle here, same deal, exact same deal. 
Compy. You can only feed him prime meat or raw mutton. They're very high maintenance for weird tames. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to teleport over to my winter base. And we're going to see how our kibble station is there. See if we're missing anything. See if there's anything we need. See, Make sure we put our theory to the wrong button. See if we can put our theory to the test and see if we can make any kibble we need. If I'm missing a kibble, if there's something you think I could do a little bit more efficiently, something I'm missing here, please comment. Let me know. I'm always trying to improve my game. I'm always trying to do it as best I can. I guess my guards had to work a moment there. But uh, yeah, this is the winter base. Pretty sure I did a base tour, but this is my winter base. I decided to go with a pyramid, uh, my type pyramid over there. It's just a gazebo, a relaxed area, but no one's doing too much relaxing up here in the north. Uh, it's very rare I get visitors. It's very cold and lonely up here. If you see that uh, RG, it has a kibble system as well. All of the dinos have a system from meat to prime meat to straight on to kibble. This is just uh, my, I'd say my little work area. And here we have my living room, my filing cabinet with all my blueprints. I like to pick up drops. It's part of my thing. Um, usually we have the campfire going, or the uh, chimney going on, the fireplace going on. I keep a fireplace in every room in my uh, in my base in the winter because I notice as long as I have those, I don't get cold. I keep this stove on in here because as long as it's burning, I don't get cold. If you're worried about me wasting oil, it's not a problem. I have a dung beetle and I have a bassy. They produce me oil consistently. I have a tech farm, our element farm, if you want to call it that. You'll see that in a video coming soon. That it's just I have an abundance of oil. Oil is not my issue. I have oil like most people have hide. Um, so as we were saying is. If we wanted to go ahead, this is probably one of the only kibbles I can't make, which is basic kibble, because I don't use it. There's nothing I'll tame up other than maybe a monkey, and it's very easy to get some uh, dodo eggs and tame them up. And, oh, maybe I do have dodo eggs <laughs> or regular eggs. I'm not sure whose eggs, but that's a regular kibble. I just hit the uh, pull, pull all resources. It pulls all my resources, but as you see, it takes the berries, the cooked meat, the dinosaur egg, fiber, and I have it all, and it wants of water. As you can see, the jar of water is in here, so I don't need it for that. Why do I feel like there's a UD outside of my base? One second here, I think this UD is looking for problems, and we have to give it to him. But I could swear there's a UD. No, we'll go to the top floor. Oh, I heard a lot of roaring. What is going on? You can't just war out here. Yeah, there you go. You guys came in a perfect time. My guys are willing to war. Right. There we go. Yeah, we took care of that. Way to go, guys. Is there a bag down there? Because we're going to want his heart. Oh, here comes another sucker. Another sucker. This that guy was pretty good, wasn't he? I'm 125 day on. Oh, was a 125 day on. Okay, so back to the show. Man, you're stuck duking all over the place. Alright. So we showed you we can make basic kibble. That's pretty simple, pretty straightforward there. And its requirements. Now what we'd want to do is make simple kibble, simple kibble that would take co cooked fish meat dinosaur egg fiber berries and a rockwell carrot or rock carrot i don't know why i said rockwell too much gen 2 and there you go pulls the resources and we have a second kibble and then we want a blue kibble which is a regular kibble it pulls an egg we create the kibble as you see, I never ran around my base. I never got a bunch of stuff to put it in here. I didn't have to go out and steal from a beehive and make two kibble and then look for another one. I didn't have to go, you know, try to steal an egg from the beach. It's just all in my base, all because of all the tools that I use. 
Um, if we want to, what is this? Uh, superior kibble? Yep, superior kibble. Pretty straightforward and made. Exceptional kibble. Focal chili. See, it stops you there because there are extra things. Now, focal chili is going to want all the berries, lemon, cooked meat, and that's it. And there we go. And we have our focal chili. So, with our focal chili, we're able to make the exceptional kibble. And there's an exceptional kibble. And if you notice, it takes a rare flower, a rare flower, and a chili, which is why I said. There's small little things that come with it, but because I have beehives, I'm always constantly getting flowers. I have my mammoth. I make sure I take him out, make sure I get all the flowers I can. And for the last one, if you notice, it is an expensive one. It's going to want beehive, and that's why, I mean bee honey, and that's why I call it expensive, because bee honey is not always the easiest thing to get. I mean, it is once you tame them, but sometimes they can be a pest, and uh, it also is going to stop us short and ask us for Lazarus chowder. And then we make, we have a farm. We bring a lot of our stuff from the farm. It's going to want long grass, saber root, cooked meat, berries, and narcotics. So we click on that. It pulls it all to us. Now, normally, yes, we would go and grab all the different things and put it in there. Unnecessary with the uh, mod that we're able to pull. We're able to make an exceptional kibble. And that's all of our kibble. The only thing left that we would have to make is a veggie cake and I'll make that in just a second here for you but the shadow steak it's very great it allows you to see for about three minutes at night time that is what the effect of what I think the great effect is is that it gives you a brighter night it's just naturally without any admins without any cheats I don't like to play the game with, with admins and cheats I just like to play the game straightforward um, cactus broth not sure I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find out when I get to the next level to the next uh, map which is scorched earth uh, this magical soup will greatly reduce your water consumption that's pretty much what it is and then it's battle tartar I've never really understood this it's like from what I've always read I'm not even gonna read the description but while you're in combat it gives you a strong 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 fighting sense striding fighting power I guess and then once it, the three minutes is done it takes a lot of it away from you so it's one of the good take to go with the bed and hope you're not fighting longer than three minutes you know and the rest of them like I said there's mind wipe there's broth of enlightenment the broth of enlightenment is to help you with XP I don't know why many people don't use that a little bit more but it helps with XP so if you've gotten that with two with two um, XP nodes and then ran a cave you probably could get yourself to level 100 very quick the other thing that we would be making here is veggie cakes now this is an expensive one that I hear a lot of people complain about and that's why I make sure I have my tree tap and I make sure I have my beehive because what I see the expensiveness is is the sap and the giant bee honey which if you have the beehive or the um, or even two of them you're able to make this no problem as long as you have a tree tap because that stuff will come in abundance and once again knee stimulants so what do I have spark powder made oh we can get some stimulants let's go five hopefully give us six now give us five all right and looks like we need a bite and that's the veggie cake so all of the kibbles everything you would need to go on a tame and spree to tame up whatever it is you need to tame up you should we should have here at our base there's nothing that we can't go tame I mean even a two two so I know takes black pearls but if you notice I live in a place where both places have a lot of trollobites so I'm, I'm always getting an opportunity to take one of those so another neat little trick before I let you go here if you see on one side that the health of something or a food is going bad the best thing you can do to revive that food would be to like this it's going down low it's about to be gone I'm about to lose one I don't want to so I turn them into two I can split it back up and put the other half in the fridge as well with this veggie cake it's almost going down this is a fresh one so I just take it and I send it over there and I put it back here and that's pretty much it for the kibble farm um, I don't know what else I could show you about the kibble farm like I said it's pretty straightforward and right now I'm gonna make a few water jars take it back down to the uh, 
let me take it back down to the farm base there and I'll meet you there we'll bring you back once we get there to say our goodbyes and thanks for watching like I said all right so we're back to base here we're back to the kibble base here and uh, like I said if there's anything I missed anything I didn't go over something I didn't talk about taming there are small little other things like I said when it comes to the two soul and when it comes to I'm pretty sure the manta you, you, need, you would need um, angler gel but for the most part any tame you need on the map that you do need to fight a boss or you do need to go through a cave that kibble farm can help you it'll definitely make every kibble and like I said it is a lot faster to tame up it takes less bites it helps you with your taming effectiveness pretty sure on official you can't get a hundred you can't get a hundred percent or you can't get a perfect tame where it didn't lose any levels but it will definitely help you from going from losing 10 or 15 levels that could be on the dino that could make it that much better to actually having a little bit more that's why I do it uh, but with that being said I'm gonna end the episode there this is just a quick tutorial on how to make the on how to make the kibble farm i want to thank y'all for watching and uh catch you in the next one peace out